Sonic Pi 3 has just been released and I've got it running here and uh, this little video is just to demonstrate uh, one of the great things that it opens up and that is that it can control scratch by means of OSC messages. Um, I've got a simple little program here, it's only about uh, 12 lines long or so and uh, it has one command to send information to uh, Scratch which is simply an OSC command. It has an address following it and two bits of data, an X and a Y coordinate. The rest of the stuff in here is simply doing some maths to work out the coordinates of X and Y as it travels around an ellipse and also it's going to play two notes uh, which are going to be affected by the X and Y positions, each played by a different synth, one by tri, one by FM. And uh, Scratch is just normal, uh, except that we're using one of the external um, sensors, and that is going to be provided by the excellent Scratch OSC Bridge, which is a little application which can receive external OSC messages from anywhere, and it can connect them to Scratch where they can be read by means of a variable. And um, here we're going to set the X position, the Y position in two variables and we're then going to set the position of the sprite here, its X position and its Y position. So that when we start the program running we'll be able to see that this travels around an ellipse and we get uh, rather an horrific noise as the as Sonic Pi sends out the signals to drive it. So let's see it running. Here we go. You can see all the OSC messages being sent in this region over here. You can see them being received up here by the Scratch OSC bridge. And there's several um, messages that can be sent. I'm simply using the one that's prefixed by the address of slash one slash xy1. And that is the one which is going to be sent on to OSC. Which is decoded here and here. And the values of the two variables set x position y position are shown on the screen here and we set the position of this sprite to that. So a fairly simple process to do and as you can see great fun and opens up masses of possibilities for using Sonic Pi to control Scratch. So I hope you've enjoyed looking at the video and it gives you um, hands into if you've got Scratch and you've got Sonic Pi and you can download the Scratch OSC bridge, which you can get by Googling. Thanks for watching.